DaVinci Resolve for noobs. In a previous video, I talked about how you could put your playhead anywhere in your timeline, hit I on your keyboard, move the playhead to another spot and hit O, and it creates a timeline selection where you could just hit the loop button under your preview window, and when you play, it'll always go to the end point and jump back to the beginning. This loop is for playback, so you can focus on a certain area that you're trying to get right. But people have asked me, Daniel, what if I want to get something to loop in my timeline so that I can export it and it loops continuously? Well, that's a different situation. Let's say you had a piece of footage that is a looping piece of footage. In this case, I've got a piece of footage that looks like the ocean. It's 20 seconds long. And if you were to duplicate it and put it at the end, when it gets to the end and starts again, it creates a seamless loop. It just looks like the footage continues. But this is only 20 seconds long. And if I wanted this to run for, say, a couple of hours, the math on that would mean I would need to duplicate this 360 times. Now, I love shortcuts and you could sit here and do control C, put the playhead at the end and hit control V 360 times, but that's a lot of times hitting the keyboard. Some other shortcuts that can come in handy for something like this would be hitting the home key or function in the back arrow on Mac. That puts your playhead at the beginning. Hitting Alt plus Y, that selects everything after the playhead. Hitting Control plus C, that copies everything that's selected. And then hitting Control Shift plus V, and it inserts anything that's copied right before it. Now that seems like a lot of shortcuts just to duplicate a clip, but watch what happens when you repeat it. Home, Alt Y, Control C, Control Shift V, now I've created four. Do it again, now I've got eight. And if you repeat that pattern, you only have to do that nine times before you reach two hours of repeated looping because it's copying everything after that and that's becoming cumulative and exponential. Now you can see how quickly I was able to copy and paste that and get it up to a total running time of two hours and 50 minutes.